What assholes. If you follow the channel, you already know that right now I have a dumpster sitting at a Home Depot and it's pretty frustrating. The deal is I basically reached out to the company after I noticed uh, what had happened or what they had done, uh, even after telling them, and I, I'm very clear with contractors, especially third parties, like this dumpster is, is going to be used for trash or, you know, we clarify it's going to be shingles, how many shingles, you know, et cetera, et cetera. So I was clear with them, hey, this is going to be for trash and, you know, debris, but not concrete, dirt, rock, asphalt went down the list and then they signed the contract as well and that was that I'm being very lenient with this dumpster it's been sitting there for five weeks now five weeks and I told them normally we only do one week they said hey we'll just pay every week we don't care I said okay whatever but the problem is they broke contract and they filled it with asphalt concrete and dirt and it's hard to tell in the clip that I took originally because uh, they tossed metal on top of it I'm not sure if it was to hide it or what well, that metal is also sticking eight foot out the back. It's just in a completely inconsiderate situation and we'll get into it. But now what I did, as I came up with a solution, I was like, you guys can unload it by hand because I don't want you to beat the, or you can use a machine, but if you beat up the dumpster, I mean, you gotta replace the dumpster. Uh, but at the end of the day, they basically said, hey, can you do it? And I said, yeah, I can show up with some uh, equipment and separate it and empty both of them. That's what we're doing. All right, so because I usually have the main truck over at my house, what I usually do is I do the first run of the morning, get one dropped off, and in this case, on my way home, was one of the first pickups. So I don't like to double back. I like to do things as most efficiently as possible. So I'm loading it up, and then I'm going to hand it off to Keegan, where he's going to do a couple of runs for the day while I get situated on everything we need to uh, take care of that thing at Home Depot. All right, if you watch the channel, you normally know that I put the truck in neutral and let the truck itself actually roll underneath of it, but we can't obviously do that in an area that's super sloped, so we hit that brake because we don't want to shear the parking pin eventually, and we start pulling her in. And luckily, again, this one's rollers are in pretty good shape, so we don't have to worry about it just being dragged across the asphalt. Should be an easy pickup. Famous last words. All right, there we go. She in. Easy. I'm serious when I say this whole dumpster smells like the 70s. It kind of looks like it too. Take a look at that. That is uh, just old. It's got that old man smell, if you know what I mean. Just, ugh. let's get this thing tarped. So we're finally getting to it and I am headed out to the shop. We're gonna go swap one trailer to grab the flatbed and pick up the mini and bring it over and kind of get set up. Keegan's emptying another dumpster. That way I'm not picking up a dumpster, dropping it at Home Depot, running to the shop. Then I have both my trailer for my mini excavator and the dumpster. We're trying to be as efficient as we can, few amount of trips as possible. But of course, we've had some delays today and it's pushed it to the very end of the day, but we're still gonna start it today. We made it. I kind of have all my toys set now. We've got the excavator over here because we were using it. I didn't want to put it away. We've got the skid here. We also had a bunch of rain, so I didn't want it sitting over there on our uh, big mound of dirt just to get all dirty and nasty. Uh, and then I got the trailer out because it's got the solar panel that I use to kind of charge our winch in case we're moving a shipping container. So I just kind of left it out for a day. Nobody stole it. Not that they really would over here, but you just never know. We're going to put this bad boy on the lift because when we get some time, we're going to swap out some tires that desperately need changed. So, we're going to get that up. Perfect. Just enough. This. That'll do. So if you guys are subscribed to the channel, which you should be, you just might as well smash that right now. You know that we made this hill basically to showcase our equipment and also it was the idea to maybe turn this into a transfer station. If we do do that, uh, this will get kind of developed where it'll have more concrete, we'll have stone walls here so this dirt isn't always falling out and you know, looking the way it is right now. And from there, 
we'll be able to drive up and dump into bigger dumpsters. So that's one idea. My ideas change all the time because at the same time, we are adding a fence in here and we're popping up storage back there, kind of where you see some of those blocks laid out. So at the end of the day, I can actually take a lot of the asphalt that I saw inside of that dumpster, or chunks of concrete, and I can probably utilize it out here. And if I don't, I can quickly just put it on Facebook and tell people to, hey, free or cheap, hard fill, come get it, I'll load you. And that works very, very well for any of you who don't know. All right, favorite toy in the fleet, no doubt about it. I mean, this thing is the bee's knees. It really is. It's oof, so much fun. I justify it. Told told everybody I had to have it. Let's just be honest. I want to just, just dig big holes. See, I don't know what it is. I just love that look. Just looks so good. Ah, hope this truck lasts a while. The funny thing about this is they just keep adding to it. As I get this undone, I can literally see from here that they've continued to pile more stuff on it even after figuring this all out. I already can imagine some of the comments that we're gonna get about this. So let me just lay this out for you. So. We're charging them to empty this, right? And then separate it and then bring them another one back. The reason I'm doing this is because it's a business decision. This isn't whether or not the equipment can haul it. Because at the end of the day, I, based on looking at it again, this is probably gonna be anywhere from six to nine tons. That's a wide range, but I really need to get the stuff off the top to get a better evaluation of that. And let's just say, we're comfortable and legal at a about six six and a half ton range have we done more yeah occasionally we pick up something that's way heavier but that doesn't mean i should be a it risks my business uh people's lives let's just be honest and you know my employee all kinds of things and a, really the life of my equipment at the end of the day i know this can probably be picked up but the reason i'm doing it is because i was very clear with the customer what they could and could not do. They did it anyway, or the contractor did it, whatever, it happened. So it became a, we're not gonna, we're not servicing this. You know, we've been really respectful. We've worked with you. You broke contract and I made the right decision. After we found the solution here where they're basically paying for us to take care of this, they then came back to me and asked, hey, could we get a dumpster for rock and dirt? We need one the same size that we can put rock and dirt in. They wanted me to bring another one back. And I said, no. And that's how I knew, I knew I made the right decision. Because if you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. And we just simply don't do hard filled dumpsters. We'll sometimes do like a dump truck situation where like, you know, we, we show up, they load it, and then we haul it away. That way the dumpster's not getting unloaded and picked up, getting rained on for days. But they wanted us to leave this for weeks so they could put dirt in it. That's how I knew I made the right decision. That's how I knew I needed to be more firm with this place, uh, or with this company. This isn't associated with Home Depot, I wanna be clear. They're having work done, and from what I've talked to some of the managers about, they're having their own issues with the contractors, and I won't get into that. But that's exactly why I knew that we were doing the right thing here. So we're gonna start by getting some of this stuff off the top so we can actually expose what we're excavating. So here's what we're working with. Asphalt up to the wood. Uh, asphalt all the way to the back. The big chunks of concrete, there's some back there, but then there's actually slabs. 
that if you look close enough you can see as well so a lot of weight to one side i mean yeah you can tell they were loaded with a skid so yeah that's just uh that's not gonna fly and that's why we're here we made the right call here guys yeah i'm i wasn't gonna pick this up there ain't no way hey there's my board that they sheared off the side what assholes like i said six to eight tons earlier you know eight tons 15 tons what's the difference i don't know i mean i really don't know i don't know guys we we don't know how deep this goes end of the day they knew what they were doing we just couldn't let them get away with it all right keegan just found out about this let's see what you think do you think we should have picked it up Oh my god. Yeah. Well, actually, that much. Yeah. Yeah. Oh man. One of the best shirts to be wearing oh, today for this. Oh, you didn't like that little tingle spot? <laughs> you like that? Yeah, I like that. That's the ones we wear when we're not gonna see moms around. Um, yeah. That's what we're doing. Yeah, fine. Alright, let's get loaded. So we basically have Keegan loaded with what I really don't want to haul. Uh, it is also kind of an important day for me right now. So I'm trying to get home as quickly as I can. Uh, there's still a lot of crap in here. There really is. So what I'm going to do is kind of start doing some cleanup work. I'm going to sift a lot of this out. We're going to pour it onto the ground basically. Then I'm going to group up basically trash, metal, and hard fill. And we'll come back tomorrow to finish the job. I'll probably start throwing the trash back in here though. And we just got to hope that the contractor doesn't try to utilize this dumpster while we're also trying to clean up their mess. The communication is just that bad that I am worried that will happen. All right, so that's about the only amount of trash that was actually in here. And there's still a lot of gravel, especially up front, um, definitely underneath. But there's all of this sheetrock that I want to dig out and I don't want the insulation. So I'm going to throw more of the trash back in and push all this to the side, come back for it tomorrow. I mean, this is more, this is what's left after Keegan left. So one thing I forgot to show, it was just so heavy that it actually split this piece of wood. And then I just actually noticed this over here because I hadn't really been on this side of the dumpster. Um, but I think they broke the dumpster. I can promise you that wasn't there before. I mean, it blew out the side right here. And this is completely bowed in. I'm not sure even how they did that, but yep, that's not good. I could be any more pissed but yeah we're getting there most of the hard fills here except for that bag wood a little bit of trash over there sheet metals all here i don't want to leave a huge mess but this isn't getting cleaned up tonight there's no way no i need a little bit of family time let's just say that 
All right, Keegan's actually back. He uh, got to make the same trip to the shop to unload that. And in the same route, he was able to actually drop it off at a customer. So that dumpster's gone. We're now just gonna try to get this picked up because I really don't trust these guys. I don't want this thing sitting here overnight and then them keep doing it or you know fill it with more trash. I've got it where I want it, I want it out of here. We're gonna scoot that metal out of the way right there so he can line up nice and straight. Okay, Keegan's worried. Even with everything we just took out, there's, it's so, I can't explain it. It's so dense on the bottom. Like, how many tons do you think that totally was? Probably well over eight. I think so too, well over. Based on like that one you picked up that one day, yeah, this this topped that by almost twice as much. Yeah. This is insane. This is ridiculous. That's what happens also when a dumpster sits here for five weeks full of concrete dust, what looks like plaster and sheetrock fills with water and sucks it up. This thing, no wonder it feels so heavy. Still with only, only half full. I'm not kidding when I say what was left there was seriously five tons. That's insane. All right, I'm calling it for right now. So this is what we got left, this little pile. If I was more patient and had more time, I would have just loaded that in that load that Keegan took, but I needed to get that other dumpster dropped off tonight. Uh, this sheet metal right here, I'm gonna just see if somebody can pick up. I didn't wanna put it in that dumpster just because, well, it barely fit the way they had it in, the way it was folded. And I know I could have folded it with the mini. I just didn't wanna mess with it. Again, it was a time thing. I posted on Facebook. Typically, when you do that, scrappers are all over it. If they don't come get it, well, I'll just end up hauling it out to the shop and put it in our metal pile. So I'll be pretty transparent with you guys on this one. We'll go over the numbers tomorrow. But first, I want to get everything emptied. And I want to get paid. Day two-ish. It wasn't lucky. They didn't pick up the metal. Nobody, nobody snagged the metal for free. Uh, but we got one little bit of hard fill left. Uh, so I got the numbers on the dumpster. So after emptying everything we could out of there, it still came in at four and a half tons. Four and a half tons. I think in the last clip I said that still has five tons in it. I was pretty close. Four and a half tons was what, is what was left. And then we still have this to get rid of, the load that he already took out. Uh, I had to hardly count that metal as weight. But we're gonna get this out of here. I'm gonna move this, take it out to the shop and get the skid so we're just real quick and just scoop it right up against that curb, toss it in. Uh, we're gonna get a good flow. But the thing is, I'm bringing them another dumpster out here. Call me crazy. So I made sure they triple checked, made sure they acknowledged the contract again, made sure she checked with the people on site. And that's what the problem is. It's There's too many subcontractors here and they're not listening to each other. And the main contractor, contact person, just the contact person's great to work with. She's getting the bills paid, whatever. She just can't really control what they do here. So at the end of the day, what was still done was pretty ignorant. I don't know if they expected that to be taken off by a, spacex rocket ship like i don't i don't quite understand what they want like how they thought that was getting picked up but at the end of the day there's still four and a half tons in that dumpster and i promise you we pulled out at least seven tons based on things we've done in the past i'd say six to seven tons of hard fill so do the math insane the crazy thing is they now need a dump truck and they want me to subcontract that work out. So they want me to find somebody that has a dump truck so they can live load somebody and then haul it away, which is what they should have done in the first place. It would have saved them so much time, so much money, and it would have saved me a lot of headache. But now they desperately need one, so they are asking me if I can try to find one and then subcontract the work. So I guess that's what I'm gonna work on next. Their headache's my headache. Let's get this one out of here. Well, of course, we got to get that off and then get a bucket on. And then I think I'm going to grab the grapple so I don't have to touch that metal. And we just put it on here. So, oh, nothing's ever set up the right way when you need it. Let's get it. Got to wiggle through here to get my bucket. Dang. Can't hit the go-karts. Family would kill me. All right, there we go. Excuse me, coming through. These things are so convenient, so you don't have to mess with ratchet straps all the time. So handy.
Let's get out of here. Whew, the joys of having a business. We just rolled up here and I'm actually trying to see if this uh, skid right here, if this guy is actually going to try to load some rock in here. Uh, yeah, that'll be interesting. It doesn't look like he's going to, but I'm curious. Well, so far it looks like they've listened. Funny thing is, man, outside of that little bit right there, they're just throwing metal in here now. I mean, come on. Scrap that. What do you think, dude? Do you think they're going to respect it, or do you think we're going to come back to another one like that? They might fucking throw mess it up this <laughs> It's been a day. Yeah. Beam me up, Scotty! All right, here we go. I put Keegan in the driver's seat. He's gonna get this hooked up. That way we can remove all the scrap. I already scooped up and kind of cleaned up the debris that's over there. Love it, let's do it. There we go, let's get this out of here. One stack left, that's it. So Keegan's gonna go ahead and take this to the metal pile section of the shop. What he's gonna do is he put it close enough that I can then just push the metal off the top straight into the metal pile and then start sifting the hard fill back to where I actually want it on the property. So we're good. It's cleaned up enough, although they're already making a mess, but that's not my mess right now. So after that, he's actually gonna drop that dumpster off at another rental and pick up another. So to keep the flow going, I'm gonna get this cleaned up. So let's go over the numbers a little bit. All in all, this whole experience for them so far, and we're not even done, has cost them over four grand. I'm gonna do my best to go over it off the top of my head. For five weeks, they've had roughly $1,865 worth of weekly rentals. So, you know, original 465, and then and I did look back, it's like 355 or 350 per week after that. So five weeks then we had the twelve hundred dollars to remove everything from the dumpster then we charged an additional 250 dollars for the damages to the dumpster that might seem petty guys but this dumpster is going to need some work once we're done and it's due to that everything they have done so we're going to need some welds some spot weld and then obviously the new board which i think i charged like 50 bucks again this is going to seem petty but if you don't do it don't forget what i'm saying you give an inch, we'll take a mile. Outside of that, then we charge $290 for the additional tonnage like we would have in a normal contract, but that was just for the three three of the four tons that were in there, four and a half tons, three and a half of the four and a half tons that was there. So all in all, it's gonna, and then, oh, and then we just brought back another dumpster. And that brings you to about 400 or 4,000 and about $75 is where we're at right now. And I have a feeling they'll have that full in a few days and they'll call us to empty it and this ball will just keep rolling. I don't know when they think they're going to get done, but I don't see an end in sight right now. I also will be calling and I've already talked to somebody and they've agreed to a dump truck that will be coming and doing, you know, these loads. So we don't have to worry about them anymore. So I hope. Uh, so we've got a guy that's going to take care of that and uh, we'll just basically pass the invoice on. So all in all, it's come together, but yeah it was a journey so go ahead and blast me in the comments if you think oh i'm taking advantage of these people some of you guys are going to say that some of you are going to say i didn't charge enough some of you are going to say that's a massive headache um some of you are going to tell me i know some dudes are going to say you guys need to have them buy you a whole new dumpster can't really do that or i mean i shouldn't uh they practically just did with everything that just happened but i just kind of had to work for it but and some of you guys are going to say i'm charging way too much per week for my dumpster but keep in mind every area is a little different i am like the cheapest cheapest per week in this case 
It's just they decided to wait four weeks before they used it. And then the last week they ruined it by putting the wrong stuff in, had a contract, discussed it. That's the only reason this whole thing happened. So stay tuned guys. I hope you've already subscribed to the channel. If you haven't, you might as well, because we get into stuff all the time like this and you just never know what it's gonna be. I'll catch you next time. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. See you in the next one.